Hi, it's Liz Nedden. Let's have a look at seasonality and how we describe the seasonality patterns for level one time series. So what we want to do is identify and think, well, what is seasonality? And sometimes it can be also called repeating patterns. Um, so what we're looking for is, is there a pattern that reoccurs? And it could be if I've got yearly data, I want to see does the pattern recur every year? If I've got weekly data, I want to see does the pattern occur every week? Um, if I've, and so on. So I want to see if the patterns are repeating themselves. And so what I've got here is I've got a graph of money earned at a chemist and I've highlighted each of the time, same time periods the same colour. So for example, the red dots, they represent the last quarter of the, the year. So October, November, December, so that's the total amount of sales in that three month period. And what we want to know, what I want you to notice is that when I look at this particular graph, those red dots, all of them for each year of data that we have, the red dots always the highest. So that tells me that quarter four tends to be higher. We will also notice that the green dots each year, if I look at one year at a time, the green dots seem to be the lowest. So I want to see does that pattern of going high at this time, low at that time, high, low, does that pattern repeat itself? And if it does, I want to identify, well, when is the highest point, the peak, and when is the lowest point, the trough? So that's what we're looking for, is if I just take a one-year period, when is it highest, when is it lowest? So they use wave terminology, peak and trough, to, to talk about that. So here is the data from NZ Grapper. And the first thing we want to do is identify what does each colour represent. So in NZ Grapper, if you hover over it with your mouse, it'll tell you which quarter it is. So if I've done that, it started off in quarter three of 2005. So the purple represents quarter three. Then I've got, oh, sorry, wrong way. Then I've got the red dots are quarter four. Following that, the yellow dots or green dots are quarter one. And then the blue dots are quarter two. So we've got this pattern and we were looking for, does it start off in quarter three? In fact, let's go quarter one. Quarter one is kind of just below the trend line, goes up a little bit, down a bit to the purple one, up a lot to the red one. Then it goes below the trend line for the yellow, up a bit for the blue, down for the purple, up for the red. So what we're looking is, is that pattern of going up and down at the same times of years, is that similar? And so we don't need to know if it's exactly the same because some years it might the pattern might vary a little bit, but what we're interested in is it a similar pattern, and that's what we call a consistent pattern. So that's the first sentence that I want to write, is I want to write about whether there is a consistent repeating pattern or not. So in this case, there is. So then I want to identify, well, when are the highest ones? And I can see on my graph that the red points all tend to be the same quarter four time. So then I need to put that in context. Well, this is talking about the amount of money people spend in thousands of dollars on sunglasses. So I can say, well, the sales of sunglasses tends to be highest in quarter four. Notice I'm using that kind of suggestive language, tends to be, because I can't guarantee it will always be. Then we want to find the lowest. So in a one year period, what would the lowest point be? And it seems to be the purple is the one that's the lowest. So that's our quarter three. So writing that in context, the sales of sunglasses tend to be lowest in quarter three. So we want to interpret if there is a consistent pattern. And if there is, when is it highest? When is it lowest? Thanks for watching.